Hello everybody, my name's Angie. I'm behind Paint Zen. Did you hear the fan kick on? Did you hear that as soon as I hit the camera? <laughs> okay, so I want to start off by um, my cat is next to me. Two of my cats are next to me. Can you hear me? Alan. So we have the cats and the fan. <laughs> I want to start off at the beginning of this by addressing something. Apparently I have already ruffled some feathers. Um, people are coming at me in the comments. They're giving bad advice. It's going to affect their learning curve. Okay, let me tell you something. It is exactly that advice. I am giving suggestions. Okay, tips on what helped me when I first started creating and painting. Okay, that's all. I'm not holding a gun to anybody's head making them use cheap art supplies. Okay, so if it's not that serious. I'm not giving out life-changing advice. We're just having fun. This channel is not about creating masterpieces doing everything perfectly, learning all the art rules. No. If anything, it's about breaking the rules and creating what makes you happy, what you feel like creating, okay? It's about managing stress, anxiety, grief, all through art and having fun while we do it. That's it, okay? And if somebody's able to take some tips or suggestions that I throw out there and it works for them, that is wonderful because that is the objective, to help somebody, okay? It is not serious, you guys. This channel is not meant to be serious. I'm not a professional. I don't make money off my art. I don't have any kind of teaching certificates. I've never been to art school, not one day in my life, okay? Everything I've learned, I've taught myself through YouTube tutorials, Skillshare, and Domestica. That's it. So, now, we got that out of the way. I want to thank everybody that hit the subscribe button. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Every time I see the count go up, I'm tickled. <laughs> I'm tickled now. <laughs> Um, thank you guys for stopping by and just um, watching my videos, spending time, because I know your time is precious. I get it. I understand. Um, and that's about it, I guess. That's everything. Today we're going to make some cute sunflowers. Very easy, very fun. And I have about four different kinds of paints laid out that are a step above craft paint. And they should be pretty good for color mixing. They help you guys practice color mixing. They help me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end this part of the video, spin the camera around, and I know baby let's make art okay hello everybody the camera spun around and I'm having a really hard time with the lighting today I don't know what's up with it I've done the best I could with the glare it's just it's winning today so now I have laid out several different brands of paint we have Master's Touch we have Arteza we have um, Essentials and Dowler and Ronnie have all these and we're, this is not professional grade paint i believe it's student grade i'm not sure even though it says premium on it, it either way it's a good set of paints it really is i'm trying to read what it says out of all the out of these four is arteza and then it would probably be dowler and Rowney, master's touch essentials i don't know but these are very good cheaper alternative paints for like practicing your color mixing or just painting in general and my plan is and i seen another artist do this the other day um the buzzed artist i love her channel she did this with like Dollar Tree paint years and years ago. And we're going to do it today with these paints. We're going to make a line with Sharpie. Okay, and this is just the cheap sketchbook pad that I always use on here. We're going to make some lines with the Sharpie. All right, so we're going to draw our lines, our boxes. We're going to draw our boxes first, and we're going to put, let's see. We're going to draw four boxes, and we're going to have four paints. One, one. Three, four, yeah, four paints. So, so, four boxes. All right, <clears throat> this box is going to be Dallar, Dallar and Ronnie. Okay, this box is going to be Royal Lang Nickel slash Essentials because it's the same thing. Okay, this box is going to be Master's Touch, and this box is going to be Arteza. And then Arteza. Okay. On the side of these boxes, we're going to draw a black line. So we can do our swatches and see who covers the Sharpie the best, right? Right? Um, Della or Ronnie. Let's see what colors we want to do. Let me put these back there below so I get confused about what I'm doing here. Okay.
Oh, I love that color. I like that. That'd be nice. I like that. Okay, anyway, sit here and mix colors all day long just to see what I get. And there you go. So that's your cheaper alternatives to practice your color mix your coats for the first two if you're trying to cover something on many, many layers. Not as many for the last two, Master's Touch and Artesia. And Artesia is my pick. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Okay? Now, let's get on these um, little tubes of paint from different places. I can guarantee that none of them were over $20, okay? Because <laughs> I bought them, so trust me, they're not. Okay, the Daler and Ronnie is the Simply Collection. It says Simply right here on the tube. It is $12 for 24 colors. Except for the, um, right here, the System 3. It is $6.80 a tube. Okay, so this one's a little more. It's six eighty two, but you get a bigger tube. And it's a nice, a nice, it's a step above this one. This three. All right. The Royal Lang Nickel, nine seventy four at Walmart for 24 colors. Okay. That is this one. Nine seventy four for 24 colors, under $10. Except for the bigger essential tubes. Rolling. Okay. All right. And Master's Touch came from Hobby Lobby, 10 dollars 24 pieces. That's these. Smaller tubes, but... Good little paint. And then my favorite, Arteza. You get 12 pieces for $17 at Walmart. On the Walmart app. I had to order it. Had to be shipped on the Walmart app. Pretty good size tube of paint. 12 of them, $17. Okay? All of these under $20. All right. Step of craft paint. Now we're going to practice our sunflower. This is what I've been waiting on. We're going to do our sunflowers. I'll put you on a quick pause. Okay? We've got our palette out. We'll use some... Let's see... My lemon yellow is out in my artesian, so I can't use that. We we'll use lemon yellow in Master's Touch. If I can get some to come out, wait, we'll another two. Let's use this one. Yeah, lemon yellow. Okay. And let's use a raw umber for our middle. I mean, for the middle of our sunflower. Let's do a yellow deep. I'm not going for yellow ochre because I want it to stay kind of bright. So, all right, and let's pick a green. What green do we want? I'm gonna go with grass green for Master's Touch. If I need any to come out, let's see. And that's what we're gonna start with. And our brush, I have several brushes pulled out. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna go with this little 12 round, and it's one of the ones from Tai Chain, Tai Yan Chain, China. <laughs> Something picked up from Walmart, I do believe. Okay. And we're going to use our sketch pad. Alright, so the key to making these quick little sunflowers and, and have them look like they have movement is the wiggle. The wiggle technique I taught you, uh, I don't know if it's the last video or a few videos back when we're doing flower. Oh, wait, I want to white. Let me get a white out. Titanium. Essential titanium white. You see me use this pretty much in every video. Okay. All right, so let's start with our dark yellow, our medium yellow. Put some white in it. I'm actually going to take it down a notch with some um, burnt umber. Put a little more on the green side. All right, and this is just our first layer. And we're going to go from, let's see, mash down, pull out, mash down, pull out. Down, out, down, out. See, the longer you drag, the longer you, when you do your out, the longer you pull your out, the bigger your pillars are going to be with this round brush. And another key little tip is to turn. You can turn your paper, turn your book. You don't have to move everything around. Okay, this help. Out, down, out. Turn your brush, turn your brush. Grab some more paint. Okay, that's one. I can use the same colors. Remember, you can turn your brush. This time, we're going to wiggle. Okay? And wiggle, wiggle on the side right here. So I just wiggle, lay my brush down and wiggle. Okay? And we're just practicing sunflowers. I'm not looking for this to be a finished piece of art today. If it turns out to be, that's fine. Now I'm going a little lighter. My lemon yellow. We're going to go in between. All right? Lemon yellow, but in between the petals. And I'm just turning, spinning. I'm not being very loose with it, you guys. 
Right, there's that one. Let's do a wiggle one. Lemon yellow. Down, out, down, out, down, out. And I'm holding my brush very loosely. Very loose. Up toward the center and very loose. Wiggle, wiggle. All right. Okay, we're going to pop in the center. And then we'll work on our fiddles and you know, we'll pop in the center. So let's take her up our umber. And I'm not going to put anything with it. So gonna, now this one looks like it's going to be facing just like it looks. I'm going to make it center. I'm going to make it center. Just round. Okay. Now this one, we're going to off-center it a little bit and kind of, we want it kind of like it's facing that way. Kind of going that way. Okay. So we're going to make, instead of round, we're going to make the center oval. Kind of an oblong shape. Like that. Just a little bit darker. So I'm going to add some lumber into it. Alright. Twist. Get that point back on the brush. The harder you press, the fatter your line will be. I don't like fat stems, so I try not to press too hard. And I'm going to come from right here. Just like this. Just like that. And I'll probably put it right here. Put it like that. It was super duper well. Okay. Let's add some leaves. Same green. Let's grab some of this yellow and pop it in with this green to make her leaves. A little dab of white. More green. More yellow. My leaves are going to be very... Whatever. What they're going to be. <laughs> Nothing fancy. I'm wiggling and jiggling as I'm pulling. That's all. That's all I'm doing. Wiggling and jiggling. All right, that's my leaves. Okay, rinse your brush good, really good, because we're going back into our petals. Yellow. I got contaminated with a little dab of green, but you know, I really don't care. We'll put some white in it, and I'm gonna darken it just a hair with my yellow medium. Okay, and I'm gonna go over wherever I want to put a leaf. You can go to, you can go over your leaves, however you want to do it, and wiggle, wiggle. Do the other one. As you can see, there's no pressure to these sunflowers at all. No sense of making them perfect. I think I'm going to separate a little sunflower. One flat, one angled. Now if you wanted to keep going, if I wanted to keep going, right, I would continue to work on my middle. I would bring in some umber with some white. Not quite that much white. Let's get some more umber going. Okay. And then I might start going maybe around the edge a little bit like that. Just to give my middle a little bit of something, some depth. I mean, you can keep piddling with this. You can add some orange petals, some red petals. The key to this was just to show you the technique. How we just lay down some lines, and then, like I've told you before, the center the center of the flowers tells the story of the flower. Which way it's facing, which direction it's blowing. You, you do that center. And when I'm telling you what I do, I'll pick this up with some white. Hold on. Make it a little opaque. It needs to be for what I'm about to do. Okay. Some more white. Mm. It's not quite a wiggle up into the middle a little bit so it looks like it's covering a little you start here wiggle, 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 and bring it up wiggle so it closes off that middle a little bit and of course I probably do another layer but there you go cute little sunflowers only took minutes to create thank you guys for clicking on this video hope you have a great day don't forget to subscribe comment tell me about your work if you try Tell me about your work if you try it. Let me know.